What is going on YouTube? It's TCG Jake here and today we have a Blastoise Premium Collection box that's too big to fit in my camera but we are going to open this today with the big Blastoise card and that one to the little one. Blastoise is one of my all-time favorite starter Pokemon. I will open this box and we've got Unbroken Bonds, two Unbroken Bonds packs which we are going to be hunting for Charizard. One Lost Thunder Pack, I don't know what I want out of there. Celestial Storm, which I would take a Rayquaza. What appears to be Fates Collide, I think. And then Sun and Moon, which I'm hoping for a Lily. Let's just get right into it, if I can open it. I'm gonna try and get my hands on another um, heavy pack, but it is gonna be a little bit as Soon I'm gonna be back to work, which is a good thing because then I actually get paid again and don't have to keep using my savings on this and on, you know, literal life stuff. Um, I just had to pay a crap ton of money to fix my car. It was a safety issue and I needed to do it to get my son, to keep my son safe. But there is our promo um, and it was a brake issue and it needed to get fixed and it cost, and there was a little bit more wrong with it too. But it cost, let me go through those promos again. It cost me about, um, $1,300, so please buy from me on eBay. No, I'm just playing, you don't have to do that. Um, I mostly just sell double pulls anyway. I do sell, resell some stuff. Speaking of which, um, I, if you didn't know, Barnes & Noble was having like a huge sale the other day, and it was a lot of clearance, 50% off of, uh, stuff. I'm assuming a lot of stuff they couldn't sell during the pandemic, but I, there was some trading cards like Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Dragon Ball, which I'm gonna try and open up some Dragon Ball on the channel. The, some of those cards in there are really cool. Um, anyway, I got a bunch of those Magic the Gathering decks for like six bucks and the ones I'm reselling I talked about the other day and a Star Wars, we'll wait on Unbroken Bonds, we'll start with Sun and Moon, a Star Wars um, X-Wing Millennium Falcon, I would show it to you but then I'd have to get up and go over there. Uh, so yeah, I mean if you guys ever want to resell stuff, one of the places I've actually successfully resold from is Barnes & Noble because they have clearance deals all the flipping time. and. You know, I, I did flip a lot from Goodwill, but I flipped a, a lot from regular stores too. I mean, it's not hard to do. You can figure it out. Reverse Hollow Morlow and a Hollow Gigalith. I'm pulling hollows left and right lately. Not a bad thing, it's just, where are my ultra rares? Where are my ultra rares? I feel bad, because I keep trying to convince my wife to let me, um, what set was this X and Y Fates Clyde, so three, uh, to let me open the Keldeo box, but she keeps saying no. So we can't open it on the channel, mostly because I actually really love Generations as a set. It is beautiful and gorgeous, and it deserves to be opened and appreciated. Reverse Holobroxion, and a Mega Alakazam EX. Not the, I really like the full art Mega Alakazam from Fates Collide. It's actually really cool. It's unfortunate that this set was so printed to crap and also sucks other than the Alakazam. We'll move on to Lost Thunder. Um, I really miss Mega cards, man. I don't think GX cards are nearly as good as what our Mega cards were. Okay, all of our codes are backwards again. Uh, X and Y code color cards do not matter. It only is for Sun and Moon, or maybe it did happen at a certain point in X and Y, I don't remember. It's cool Giraffe Rig. Wormpole, Litwick, Combi, Marini, Larvitar staring at the sun, Reverse Hollow Ariados. Oh my gosh, and a full art Whitney. I have not pulled this card yet. That came from Lost Thunder. This is very sick. A little off center, I was thinking. Um, anytime I pull a card like this, I grade them. But um, because I know they're popular with other people. And I also think they'll hold their value a lot better than other full art trainer cards, even secret rares. But that's just how I feel about them. Um, it doesn't mean they will. I just think they will for, you know, you know why. TV Reporter, Dunsparce, Electrike. I know it's Dunsparce, by the way. I just don't want y'all to think I'm stupid. Please don't think of me as stupid. And an Explode as the rare. We've got two Unbroken Bonds packs left for the video. I think I said Charizard and Bra or no, I'm sorry, Charizard and Reshiram are what I'm looking for. If you guys run across Unbroken Bonds, I would hold on to them as I do believe they did stop printing the set, Fairy Energy, or at least they stopped printing booster boxes for sure. So they are one of those sets that I would definitely try to hang on to. Reverse Hollow Cottony and a regular rare Meowstic. 
We've got one more pack of Unbroken Bonds left. Also take a Sylveon and Gardevoir. I wouldn't mind that. That'd be awesome. One more pack here. There is your code. And I forgot to do last pack magic. Maybe if I finally apologize to Berserker for hating on him. Those of you who know I've been hating on Berserker. I would actually pull a Zard. But I'm not going to. So, sorry. Tentacool, Reverse Hollow War Turtle, and a regular rare Butterfree. Thank you for stopping by, guys. I appreciate it. Stay cool. Bye now.